Mm. That's more or less centered. Yeah, that's more or less centered. So this one be caliber 14 too. And this one would be caliber 14 as well. This will say look for updates. This button will be disabled until this button has been pressed. So when this button is pressed, this one will be enabled. That will look cool. And here, a uh, nice J label. Version status. <laughs> okay, so that's that. And then pickaxe retrieval will uh, say So that's <laughs> iron, steel, mithril, add a wood. So changing all of these to calibre 14. Now the text, so iron pickaxe, steel pickaxe, mithril pickaxe, adamant pickaxe, and finally pickaxe. Okay, there we go. So this is pretty much our UI. And now you know how to build it. Now we only have to implement it into our script. So to do that, first of all, let's press play. So we see what we're missing. And we're actually missing the models for those. So, well, first of all, let me say resizable false and undecorated true. Where is it? No undecorated. Well, let's add then a title just like that. And then the models. So, items, items, where are you? Items, items. Model, there we go. So, ores to mine clay, tin, copper, iron, coal, silver, gold, and mithril. Whoops, adamantite, runite. I think that's all. Then, design mining locations. <laughs> For the moment, there are just going to be a few. Please um, comment. Uh, in the RSBot thread or in the uh, my forums thread for more Varak West, Varak East, Yarnil, 
uh, Lumbridge. Uh, what's the other one called? Uh, Falador. Oh, damn. How's that one called? I'm going to look for more locations here. The uh, mining and smithing scripts. Remington. That's what I was looking for. So, Remington. And that's pretty much what I'll be adding for the moment. If you've got more, please uh, post what I told you with the RS tile where the best rocks are and the bank which is the best for um then the bank which is the best for banking with that mining spot and the design banking spot um uh, model where are you Barak west Barak east Yanil uh Lumbridge, Falador, Remington. Okay, so there we go with that. And that one. Ain't this awesome? And now we can't resize the window no more. So these will all be checked by default. So now when we press play, these are all checked. Then we can uncheck these. So that's that, and then we've got to add the events. So add event. Where are you? Add event handler. There we are. Action performed. And then this is going to be update look updates console and then this label is going to have a name and so we're going to have these checkboxes Okay, so now we can have the event handler. Okay, there we go. Now let's go to the Java code if I can find a way. There we go. Okay, let's save it first. And this... It's going to be the GUI, so we can... Uh, check the Java code. Let me open that Beans IDE 6.9. <laughs> So this is going to get pretty interesting soon, especially because I feel that I can make it so easily. Probably it won't be so easy, but yeah, I feel um, I feel well with scripting now. So let me open um, up this folder. Where is the UI? Come on, UI. Yeah, there you go. 
There you go. So, who stands J frame? Basically, this is the method we were looking for. It was at the top and I didn't see it. So, the lock updates action performed uh, method uh, basically will tell us what to do when the button has been pressed.